We're here in the Navgar CFS. It's the container yard, as you see behind me. Uh, we're here in the uh, office doing the paperwork. This is day three of our clearance of Globelander into Mumbai. Uh, normally, the process takes close to six to ten business days. Uh, fortunately, when you have good people in customs who, ex who understand the nature of your work, they want to help and get this out as soon as possible and that's what's happening here and I thank them for it. Indian Customs, they can move heaven and earth if they want to. We know where the uh, container is located thanks to a system which is in place in the Customs. It's online and you just put in your container number and it boom pops up the location of your container. Today we're going to open it out, get the Customs to look at the car, inspect it, hopefully nothing serious and then hopefully we can be on our way but this yard is 26 kilometers away from where the actual processing of the paperwork takes place and that's the problem with the shipping line and customs they don't talk to each other so the Hapagloid shipping lines send the customs to send the container here while the processing of this kind of goods under Carnet which is a car happens 25 kilometers from here and so we've got to go back there come back here and then release that big monster over there really is going to be taking our container lifting it placing it where it's supposed to be so we can get the car out our container where Globelander is well waiting for me to get her out is in C36 and there she is She's up there, that red square that says TAL, that's where she is. We're getting to uh, Globelander. This is the most nerve-wracking part for me every time inside there's barely any room for a human to fit on the side so a little here and there change things there isn't enough room for the car to come out comfortably so we've got to move this again that's right baby welcome home now the process is uh, paperwork again so we're waiting on the customs official to come here and uh, well we're going to get some paperwork called forwarding that he has to sign and then they'll allow the seal cutting guy to come over here to cut the seal and then we'll open the trunk or the container in front of the customs guy so he can take a look and see everything's all right and then I'll wait here and they'll go back 25 kilometers to get more paperwork done and then they'll come back with that finished paperwork with a release letter for me to drive her out Hopefully she's in driving condition. Hello baby. Welcome home. Many quick. I am asking Nico Milra sir. Yes. Saman is in the middle. Saman means that there is a bed. I had to push her out physically myself. I guess I'm stronger than I thought I was. And now the challenge is to put her back. We've got some damage from keeping it under. So I need to make sure that I seal this properly and there is no more wear on that. This is turning out to be quite the ordeal. <laughs> Nothing's easy. So we finally got the car out uh, from the container. Of course, you see a lot of rain, a lot of sun. And then there's lunchtime. So the people that work here had to go for lunch. So I said, okay, I'll wait around. But I'm missing a really important piece of the uh, rooftop tent. The crossbars, there were two. I could swear I put them both inside the car. I see one on top, I don't see the other. And if that doesn't exist, putting the rooftop tent back is going to be quite the challenge. So we'll have to stack it up with thermocol just to keep the same height. And then uh, find a fabricator somewhere and get another of that 
luckily we have one for sample and uh, we'll have to get that made well all in all just another day of clearing your car in another country and the challenges that come with it sometimes your own fault here she is finally out she came out of that container you see open over there and uh, I was looking high and low for one piece of rod that would fit the rooftop tent. I couldn't for the life of me find it. And I looked up again. I talked to myself and said, Anil, you should have more faith in yourself and you must have done the right thing. And there she was right under here. I had stored her so she wouldn't uh, walk away. Well, I found it. I'm really excited. I'm finally going to put that roof rack on there with hopefully no uh, issues this hand needs to pass through a really narrow space which is the biggest nightmare i have at the back up here in the roof in the sunroof i can just do this quickly but at the back i'm hoping to find a kid around here and use his hand to be able to tighten the bolts well we'll see you on the road next now it's a matter of time when people come back here from lunch i'm hungry as heck but i want to get this show on the road get this up there Get her going. Now she's finally out. Globe Lander is now on the soil of India. We're going to drive around India trying to promote organ donation awareness. And uh, we've got a lot of meeting lines up because we're here specifically to unite Rotary for organ donation. A lot of my Rotarian brothers and sisters are uh, working behind the scenes to make sure we have those meetings and get them on board. Globelander came out of that container over there that you see is open after a two month long journey from Australia, from Melbourne to be more precise. I can't be more excited to start the next leg as she will travel overland around India and out of India into Nepal and beyond. Well, nothing worked out with the rooftop tent, so we had to tie it up. We got the nuts and bolts in the front, okay, at the back we used lashing, so it should hold for now and once we get, uh, well, say, to Bangalore, we'll get this done. But I'm heading out of this container terminal, which means I'm free. Free to go and do what I want in this car. And maybe I'll see you on the road. That's Christopher in the front walking me out. He pretty much does all the paperwork for my custom clearing agent, Dinesh Bhai. He's been doing clearing for me for a long time now, for, since 2016.